Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So I want to talk about Tales of the Walking Dead Episode 3. I want to talk about the trailer that actually dropped. And I also want to talk about Tales of the Walking Dead because there has been a pretty, I would say, heated debate sort of online right now. Everyone, you know, this show is definitely getting mixed reviews. You know, there's a lot of positive reviews, a lot of negative reviews. I mean, it, it, it's really like, it really depends on what your expectations were for the series, I think. I think if you thought the show was going to be something of, I don't know, of a certain story type, then you might be disappointed, but if you kind of knew it was going to be very random and weird stuff, you might be just sort of enjoying it. I will say I, I'm kind of in the middle of that. Like, I knew there was going to be some random weird episodes and stuff, and I was totally like okay with that, but I didn't know it was going to be this weird, and, and you know what I mean? So, anyways, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about some of the online reaction. I'll give my thoughts on that, and then also talk about the episode 3 trailer. So, before we go any further, make sure to be a subscriber if you do want more Walk Dead content like this. Episode 3 is airing this Sunday, and this is the alpha episode. This one is the big alpha episode, and from all of the reviews, this one is probably the best one. I mean, they've only watched four of the six. I don't think anyone's watched episode five and six yet, so I, I have no idea what that one or those two will be like, but based off of, you know, the reviews for the first four episodes here, everyone, for the most part, likes number three. Like, number three is the best one. And then number one, I think, is second. Episode two, I think, is like third or fourth. And I mean, I guess I I, I haven't watched this episode, but I, I'm assuming I'm going to agree with that just because this alpha episode is actually going to be canon and is actually going to matter a lot more to the story. So I'm kind of excited to watch that. And also just to have alpha back is going to be really cool. And this trailer actually really hyped me up for the episode. So before we get into some of the Tales of the Walking Dead stuff and some of the criticisms there, let's actually just talk about the trailer here. So... We see Alpha and Lydia trying to survive, and obviously this seems to be at some point... I mean, it seems like this is probably earlier on in the apocalypse. I thought it was set at some point after. I mean, I guess they could jump around the timeline a little bit, because it seems like they do. Because obviously that sneak peek we got, we saw Alpha just, you know, she was dressed up normally. There was like this party or whatever. So I don't think there's walkers then. But there is this one woman that seems to really criticize Alpha's parenting. And that, that seems to be like the vibe that I'm getting here is that there's this one woman who is constantly criticizing Alpha over how she's parenting Lydia. And, I mean, to be honest, I mean, you watch the stuff in here. And, I mean, obviously we know now that she was in the right. But here, it's going to be interesting to see what side we're on, right? Because we know what Alpha eventually becomes and how she treats Lydia and the stuff she put Lydia through. But back then, you know, I don't I don't know if it was like that. And I, I think we're going to see Alpha's downfall into how she became, you know, the leader of the Whispers. And there's a lot of shots of her with, like, blood on her face and stuff. So I'm, I imagine she's doing that guts technique. And I guess this sort of somehow transitions to, you know, how she eventually runs into Beta, creates the Whispers and stuff like that. I will say with this episode, I don't think we're we're learning anything here in terms of how she's going to create the Whisperers. The only thing that I could see, and that's the only thing that I could see, and it's, it's kind of a prediction, I have no proof for it, but it's this one woman right here. I could see her potentially being maybe the face that Alpha has, you know, like Alpha wears that face, that mask. I could see this episode maybe being the story behind how she got has that mask, right? Like, I could see that. Other than that, though, this isn't really a Whisperer origin story, so I'm assuming we could get that at some point in the future, right? Like, that's something that they could do in, in a season two or in a season three or something like that. Alpha does look really terrified in the trailer, which is kind of interesting, because obviously that she's she's not that person in general. She's never really been terrified, although she did get pretty emotional and stuff during her last... Like, that's the thing about Alpha that I really like. You know, like, she's such a complex villain because she has this close attachment to Lydia, and there's parts of her that she just... She wants to be a really good mother, but then there's just this whole other side to her that, like, prevents her from being able to do that. And I wonder if it is going to be, like, mental health issues and stuff. I wonder if they're going to get into that in this episode. Like, I actually, I do kind of wonder, because, again, there's a lot of shots of her just living a normal life and whatever, and I wonder if they're going to show how different she is, you know, if there's just something off about her. This episode overall looks really incredible, and I'm really, really excited to watch this episode. I actually think the episode's going to be probably the best one, obviously. That's kind of what everyone is believing right now. We're going to see this struggle with Alpha and her daughter Lydia, and I just want to see how it's going to end and how it's going to you know, contribute to Alpha's overall story. And I, I think that's where we'll, we'll sort of segue here into some of the criticisms here of Tales of the Walking Dead. 
You know, Tales of the Walking Dead, when they originally announced the show, I, I was really excited, and I, and I still am very excited for the episodes. You know, I, I know that people watch episode two, and I think most of the reaction, I think, was pretty negative. I think some people liked episode two. You know, there were some people who were like, yeah, you know, I just kind of watched it. And I, I'll say, from my point of view, I actually didn't mind the episode too, too much, you know, like at least for the first half, I'll say like the second half, I got really frustrating because again, it was sort of my expectations for the episode. Like we, we saw Atlanta 2010. I thought we were going to be getting some sort of, you know, post-apocalyptic or not post-apocalyptic, but like pre-apocalyptic sort of the downfall of society type of episode. And yeah, we did kind of get that, but it was the same footage we were seeing over and over and over again. So it was, it was definitely in the end, you know, when I look back on the whole episode, I definitely was like, I, like I can appreciate what they did. I can, I can appreciate how different it was. I was just disappointed with the episode and just with the story again, because I had a certain expectation of what the Atlanta 2010 storyline was going to be. But I will say, you know, I don't know if it's smart for Tales of the Walking Dead to be this weird and this different all the time, right? Like episode one, I would say was sort of a normal episode in terms of the story. There wasn't anything that broke boundaries in that episode besides maybe the comedy, right? I think the comedy was different. We weren't used to that. Um, episode two, obviously that story with the time loop. I don't even know how you can say that's canon to anything. Episode three isn't going to be too hard to say, you know, it's, it's going to be canon. Like it's, it's going to be something that we can watch and we're going to actually appreciate because it's going to be like this backstory or whatever. Four, five, and six, you know, I can't remember exactly the order of the episodes. I know there's that documentary-like episode, there's that haunting episode, and then there's the Jesse T. Usher episode. I think with those three, I hope, th I, like, honestly, I really hope that they don't get too weird. And mostly what I mean by that is I hope that there's no, th there's nothing that happens in terms of a time loop. Like, I don't think they're going to do the time loop thing again. I hope episode two was, like, the weirdest of the episodes, just because... Like, I don't know what it is, and honestly, when, like, just seeing all the, the reactions and stuff, like, I, I posted a tweet yesterday, and I, I just said episode two, laugh my ass off, oh man, and holy crap, a lot of people got into into arguing here, and people just, like, people were really everywhere with this, I'm seeing some responses here, some people, yeah, someone said here, I'm sorry AMC, but The Walking Dead is a great dark universe, you know, this, is, it, it just isn't working or whatever, someone else said, looks like something made off of uh, Movie Maker, uh, someone else is disappointed, not sure if anyone wants to watch a soap opera drama. This is The Walking Dead. Just a confusing mess of an episode. Someone else said, you know, I'm watching the first episode of AMC right now. If this series is going to be like this, it's going to be horrible. Someone else said, I enjoyed it in a weird, unique sort of way, LOL. And then, um, I mean, again, people's opinions on this are just everywhere. But I feel like the general opinion on this has to be that it's very weird and then feeling some slight disappointment. I think that's exactly what, or how people are feeling right now. And, and again, by the time a season is done, it might feel completely different, right? Episode two might have been the weirdest episode with the time loop stuff, right? Three, um, with the elf episode might get a lot better. Four, five, and six with some of that documentary stuff and the haunting stuff. And then the one with the Jesse T. Usher episode, maybe they get better because maybe it's more believable. It's not like we're watching something like episode two where the story's kind of, I guess pointless because the time loop stuff obviously doesn't really make sense. I know it could be a message on personalities and I, I know they mentioned something at the end like, yeah, your personality rubbed off on me. I'm starting to act a lot like you because, you know, people, you know, at work, but like people in general spend more time with their coworkers than they do with their family. So maybe that's what's happening here. And so I'm like, so was this episode just commentary on that? How does it really contribute to the Walking Dead universe at all? And, and so that's what I mean. There, there's a lot of people here that it's just, it's hard to say with Tales of the Walking Dead. Honestly, like the reaction really is just mixed. It is so, so, so mixed. I mean, I, I see a tweet here from uh, Kristen Acuna, who obviously is really incredible at covering the Walking Dead. And she tweeted out her ranking here of all four episodes that she's watched. Episode 103 was the best one. 101, 102, 104. So 103 and 101. Like 101, for the most part, everyone online kind of liked. You know, I think some people had issues with the, with the comedy. But people were like, whatever, this is fine. Like, like it was fine. Um, 102, obviously, we saw this big negative reaction. 103 being that high, I'm definitely excited for. I'm excited for this episode. 
104 though, you know, a week later, dropping below 102 somehow, that has me concerned overall with, I guess, the point of, of the series. And again, I love these type of stories. I love Creep Show. I love Tales from the Crypt, The Twilight Zone. I like this kind of stuff. And yes, there's going to be weaker episodes, but I wonder if with this first season, if they just went a little too weird. Again, we have to watch these episodes to find out, but I'm wondering if that's going to be the general idea here is season one just went a little too crazy. Like, it was just a little bit too much. Like, I will say, yeah, definitely, you know, that this this show is different. This is actually a spinoff worth doing because the stories are different. The tone is so different from anything that we've ever gotten. So if you're going to do a show, you know, it makes no sense to go do another show just based off of other characters trying to survive, blah, 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 because we have those characters on The Walking Dead and all those characters are getting spinoffs. So there's no point. If you're going to do one, do one like this. I, I get that. That totally makes sense. But I do actually wonder if if the story here is is just, I don't know. I just feel like, again, there's actually an article here. I'll, I'll leave a link down below. I'm not going to get into it, but I do see the headline here. And I completely agree with this. It says, Tales of the Walking Dead isn't the worst Walking Dead spinoff, but it's a wasted opportunity to build a more cohesive universe. And I, that's sort of my general thoughts on this is like, I'm enjoying some of the episodes and some of it, some of the weird stuff is fine, but it's like, there was this opportunity to, to do something more here with certain aspects to the overall universe, like the Atlanta 2010 episode, that could have been a really fun episode that really explored some fun stuff. But instead we got this weird time loop thing that didn't contribute really at all to the universe. And so that's that's my worry here. You know, obviously with season two, they could they could take this criticism and 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 make it better. But I, I, I saw something online as well where they were talking about a musical episode. So, like, are they still going to do that? <laughs> like, I, who really wants to watch a musical episode? It's going to be a, a really small amount of people. I don't want to watch a musical episode. Honestly, the only way I would want to watch a musical episode and I first of all, I never would want to. But would be if it, if it literally involved the main cast of The Walking Dead, because then it would be fun. Then it would, then it would actually be a little bit fun, because I mean, I, it would just be more hilarious. I would just laugh the whole time. <laughs> but then it would actually be fun. But to get a musical episode where I don't know, you have other characters just random. I, I don't know. Again, I'll leave a link down below to the article. You can check it out. She goes into a lot more stuff there regarding just all of that. I'm not going to get into anything really here or spoil it too much. So I really recommend checking out the article. But it was, um, yeah, you know, my overall review right now of Tales of the Walking Dead at least two episodes in and based off of you know other reviews of people who have watched the other two episodes is I think it's being weird for the sake of weird and I think it's just being it's just way too out there some stuff is okay some stuff is totally fine but it, it, it just kind of feels like every episode doesn't really matter and that's my worry with it is like I wanted some episodes to matter I wanted most of them to matter maybe with like an episode or two being really weird and just like yeah but i'm gonna leave it here definitely post your thoughts down below on what you think of tales of the walking dead so far and i guess your predictions for what we're going to see in episode three of tales of the walking dead airing this sunday obviously tonight is better call Saul's finale so i will have my review out for that and then I'll, and then obviously the previous episodes and just sort of talking about the show in general so yeah stay tuned for that hope you guys all enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one